Oh my god, we've got this thing. Oh, we have to do it. Oh, and it, we've got the Hadrosaur Lux as well. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I didn't realize we were going to do that today. <laughs> 297. That's not, that's, not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So hello, everybody, and welcome to a, a video on the Game Beaver channel where my audio isn't garbage. Finally worked out what was going wrong with the mic. Ah, it, was like <laughs> it would just like go horrible quality. So here we are. Uh, I didn't realize I had a Hadrosaur Lux event. I was actually just going to do something else. So maybe we'll end up doing that in today's video as well. Yay! I have not been doing any boosts or anything. So if we go on, uh, you should have a modify, is it? You can organize, here we go. If we go attack. Uh, so I have almost 50 uh, attack boosts, almost 49 health boosts, and 47 speed boosts. Now, I found this team to work really well. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use Draco Ceratops just because ha having something like to switch in and do a lot of damage is obviously really useful. Um, and you can use uh, loads of different dinosaurs for this. And it doesn't have to be Dragoceratops. It could be Monostegatops. It could be that Monolorion that everyone uses. Because that swap in attack, is like, if it's boosted, is really high. It goes through armor and it gets a stun. It doesn't go through shield or anything like that, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, so none of my dinosaurs have boosts on them. And as you can tell, I'm now on 5,139 cups whatever you want to call it. I'm really, really bad. Because <laughs> I've deliberately just not put any boosts. I thought, let's have a look. How far can I drop? So I dropped like 450 cups, which is a lot. <laughs> but I, I kind of was like, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, here we go. I put I put them all in a, in a hatchery that um, was terrible. Great. Also, link in the description below. You want to get 50 free books to help towards, I don't know, whatever you want. Speeding up incubators, God knows what. Uh, Spud, what we're doing today, which was supposed to be the video, maybe we'll do Hadrosaur Lux as well, is playing with Mortem Rex. Because I, I still feel I'm at this point where there's a lot of people who don't have uh, Mortem Rex unlocked. So I'm like, oh, I can do stuff with it, not have to clickbait yet. And <laughs> people will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, more Rex, as you can see, right off the bat, 26, level 26, it has 2,000 attack. I think that's the most attack anything has. Um, so I can boost it up to about 3,000. Which means on turn 2, it does a whopping, s well look at that, Fierce Rampage. It does 4,000 already. So if we get to 3,000, it'll do 6,000 damage, which is armor piercing. Uh, and it also, one of the best things about this guy is it can't be decelerated. And that's what a lot of creatures that kind of want to get the advantage on Thordor or something that's got like a large amount of damage, they can slow it down. So, um, a Tenotosaurus, Rex, that can be slowed down. Thordor can be slowed down. Uh, Trichosaur can be slowed down. Mortem Rex, however, cannot be slowed down. And if he is slower, you always have the option of going for a cleansing impact which does 3,000 damage, uh, which is already more than its regular base. So if I get this to 3,000 damage, and most of the time he survives one hit, he's definitely going to do 4,000 damage. And if he survives the second hit, you know, adding an extra six, he can do 10,000 damage in two hits. But the problem with Mortem Rex is that it's so fragile. And with other boosted creatures, this is the conundrum I face. If I boost it, Max attack, um, it's really good, but he's only gonna probably be able to hit once. Um, meaning that I'm only gonna do, what, 6,000 damage, or at, at a push, cleanse and do 4,000 damage, and then it'll die. At that point, you hope to swap in something, like swap in Draco or something, something to finish it. Um, now, this is what I, I think, right? I could boost his health. If I boost the health, that means that he's got more of a chance to survive a hit, right? And therefore, go for another bite and do the max damage it can do. Or, or, what I could do is boost its speed. Uh, because its speed can't be decelerated. So if it's faster than the opponent, it doesn't matter what the opponent does, I'm gonna hit it. Um, but even at level 30, all I can do is... Like I said, get an extra 10 speed 
on Mortem Rex, meaning that if I max out its attack to 3,000 or whatever it is, um, I can only max its speed 10 more times. It's just 20 because I think it goes up two each time. Does it go up two each time? It goes up two each time. So that's 20. So that's, it can only do 128 speed. Which in the grand scheme of things, if we're looking at booster creatures, 128 speed, it's not going to outspeed anything. The max I can get it up is, uh, is 40 speed. I can get it up to 148 speed. And even then, the faster things that people are going to make, like Earl Dominus, like Earl Spix, or whatever it's called, are going to be faster than it. But I do feel like it's a shame to not max out that attack. Uh, the only thing is, unlike Thordor, it has no, um, like, priority moves. It doesn't have that instant stun. But I'm going to max it up. I'm going to spend 20, leaving me with only uh, 29 boosts left onto, um, onto anything else. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Get up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wait, we've got one more. Bam! Max level attack! And, of course, the event is no longer going on. So, that is... Two... Oh, sorry, 20,000 boosts. I will only get back at 10,000. Unless we have that event again, which would be really good, Lady. So, there we go. 3,000. So, the first attack, as long as it survives, I can do a max of 4,500. Going through armor as well. If I survive the next hit, I could do 10,500 attack. So, it's up there. But, I really don't want to just spend all my boosts <laughs> on this guy. Uh, so, I, Magnetator. I, 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 every, you need Magnetator. I'm going I'm to boost Magnetator. So, I think I'm going to get to like 140 uh, speed. We'll need over 2,000 attack for sure. Definitely need that. So, 2,026. And I want to get its health over to 5,000. Yeah. I think as a base, that's good. I think in the max I had, it was 152 speed. Uh, so, that's good. Now, I've seen a lot of people use this guy at 128. Really quick. It could instantly, you know, go for distracting impact. And then rampage and run. That's a lot of... Frick, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, so I am tempted to go for him. Uh, Phosphoracus is another one that you kind of just want to boost the attack out of all the way. So, you know, it could just go for a, a instant rampage and go for, what, 4,000, if not 8,000, in some cases, damage straight off the bat. Well, not 8,000 damage. I don't think <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Um, uh, my, oh, Dennis Maximus one that I'm like, mm, don't know if I want to do. Don't know if I want to do our Dennis Maxima. Uh, whoa, is this... Default attack? Whoa, he has so much attack. I didn't realize this thing had loads of attack. The Pro Ceratothamimus. That's a lot. I mean, he is level 30, though. <laughs> I don't really have too many other things that are level 30. So let's uh, go back to default. Now, things that I am tempted. I'm tempted for the Titanoboa, uh, the Spino Constrictor hybrid. I'm tempted for Gryposaurus, or Gryposuchus, that one, the Crocodile. I'm tempted for the Mono, Mono Ryan, like this guy I've seen a lot, because on a swap in, he just does his base attack damage and has a, a good chance. So I think definitely, definitely we need to just at least level it up a little bit and we can do it twice. Um, and that's just going to increase its health. It's going to increase its attack. I and mean, what else can it do? What can it do? It target low HP, remove critical chance, and attack increase, reduce critical chance by 100%. Okay, so just critical then. It's not at a point where I think it's useful. That's the downside. Something that I've seen a lot of people use is this guy, the Tani Calagrius, the Quetzal Ryan hybrid. I've seen a lot of people use that thing. So, if you guys have any idea what you think I should use, I'd love to hear it. It'd be really interesting. Uh, and what should, what should I, what else should I do to Mortem Rex? Should I increase its health or should I increase its speed? Because I think at this point, if it's just like a max attack and then as high as I can go for health, th there's more of a chance of it surviving. Um, uh, it's only going to outspeed stuff like other Thordors, other Mortem Rexes, Trichosauruses, stuff like that. And I, speaking of Trichosaurus... It's still pretty decent. It's still pretty decent. Um, I don't know whether I want... This guy over Erla Dominus. 
because this this also has a revenge distraction um, and precise pounce, which doubles its attack, which is kind of like a rampage. Only thing is it can't cloak. Um, what what can it be reduced? It's, it cannot be uh, distracted as well. That's pretty easy. But it can be slowed down. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, I want to just give this a shot. I want to give this team a shot. I have loads of boosts anyway. Let's see what a max attack Mortem Rex can actually do. I feel like at the same time, and this is new, how they've got this whole new setup. That's quite nice. I love that um, I, I'm going to be spending all these boosts on Mortem Rex, and I feel like deep down in my heart of hearts, it's it's wasted. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's still rubbish. Oh, should we start with Mortem Rex straight away? Also, new emotes. They put in the laughing. I was like, okay, everyone hates the emotes because people just use them to grief. They're going to put new emo emotes in. What are they going to put in? They put in like a laughing, crying, pointing face. Are you kidding me? This is the reason why people don't use emotes. God damn it. Okay. Oh, it's a Trico with no boost. So we will... Wait, it's faster? Oh, because it's a higher level. So we can instantly, right off the bat... Get a crit and kill him, because that crit chance is 40%. Just to show how crazy Mortem Rex... Now, remember, bear in mind, I should have a lot more health than him. If I got a crit there, he would have died. If I was the same level, done. That would have been it. So, at this point, I'm kind of tempted just to fodder off Mortem Rex as much as a shame as it is. Um, I could switch in uh, Draco Rex. And we, we... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll switch in Draco Rex. We'll switch in Draco Rex. I could have fodded it off and then had a setup with uh, Magnetator. But uh, this is all right because it means... Now, Draco Rex boosting its health would be really friggin' good because you could swap in, do this, cleanse, and get the heck out of there. <laughs> so here we go. Now, if this thing does have boosts... Uh, oh, this person doesn't have many boosts. Uh, so I think I may as well go for a cleanse. Because uh, he's going to go for... Is he going to go for Instant Rampage? I would assume he's going to go for Instant Rampage, right? Or not. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing he thought I wasn't going to go for Cleansing Impact. But of course I am. <laughs> so now he's going to go for Instant Rampage. Yeah, he's definitely done it. Yeah, definitely done it. He's like, damn it, I thought he was going to go for the thingy. <laughs> so you can waste all that attack on Morden Rex. Uh, and he doesn't have that ready. And Magnetator can just come in. And I may as well just go for this, just in case he switches, because he might want to save that. He did want to save that. Oh, he has his own Draco set. So, Aha! Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm res I resist it anyway. I didn't realize that Magnetator could do that. Hey-ho, we learn something new every day. Oh, oh, I left it with 11. Well, we can easy kill it. It can't do anything. It's not going to swap. Just, just let it die. Let it die. Uh, should we, should we do the horrible thing that Ludia wants us to do? Point it! Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> oh my god, Ludia, why did you put that in? Why did you put that one in? It's bad enough that we have the yawn emote on the crying emote. Oh, well, actually, crying emote's not too bad. But the yawn emote's so annoying. <laughs> the point of laugh. I have actually seen a pumpkin one. I've seen it. Somebody did get a pumpkin emote. Uh, okay, so in comes Thordor. Uh, should we just do a big hit? Um, I'm kind of tempted for the big hit. Yeah, yeah. let's just go for a big hit. Let's just go for a big hit because either way, um, Draco could come in and even if he gets a crit. Draco, yeah. So he's thinking, oh, I'm going to win this. Now, what he does have is... Um, Phosphorus. So he could just go for an instant charge and kill us, which he's probably going to try and do. Um, and we'll just go for Rampage, and that is it. I think he knows it's over now. Uh, so there you go. We, If we got lucky, 40% chance. We were very lucky to not get that crit with the uh, the um, Mortem Rex. But if it was at the same level, base stats, Mortem Rex is technically better than a Trico. I mean, a one-on-one -on -one it is. Um... But let's, we'll see what we get. Um, because I think do, just doing as many battles as possible is really going to allow me to see where I want to put my boosts rather than looking at somebody who's really good and going, okay, I want to copy that, copy that, copy that. I think this is probably the best way. And I think the, the best way to use Modern Rex is just to max its attack. I think that's the, the best thing I can do. 
is max its attack. Um, yeah, let's put in Morton Rex again. Let's go. I mean, you gotta start strong. Gotta start strong. There definitely are dinosaurs, especially if boosted, that can kill it in one hit. Because it's only got 4,500. Um, so here... Oh, we kill him one hit. He's definitely going to distract. He's definitely... What's the speed of this thing? 148. Okay, he's, he's definitely going to... Yeah, I thought he would do that. So he's going to do a fair bit of damage to us. Um, meaning we probably die in the next hit. But we've killed him. What the freaks? First kill. 4,501 hit. That's not like the biggest hit he can do either. Wow. Damn. Damn. Oh, uh, here we go. Now we die. <laughs> now we die. So he's 2,000 damage. So he kills us no matter what. Um, is he immune to stun? Why everything's immune to stun? So we've lost now. This thing, this thing is what he does to kill. Like this is where he's put all his boosts on. Fair enough. I have no armor and I just die. Uh, and because I have nothing else boosted, uh, he can do his 4,084 damage. Um, so if he, what's his crit chance? His crit chance is five percent. Does he have armor? I feel like he probably has armor. Doesn't get a crit, thank God. Uh, he doesn't have any armor, so that's good. Um, so we can do this. Uh, and then we can go for an instant charge. If we get a crit, because 20% uh, chance is pretty good. Uh, oh, he has his own Draco. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, we've lost this one. If my creatures... If I put all my boosts on my dinosaurs right now, I would win. But because I haven't, I won't have to win. <laughs> All right, what we're going to do here, he's probably going to cleanse. I feel like he's going to cleanse. Um, so, is it better that I just go for a cloak? I don't know. I think he's going to cleanse. I think he's going to cleanse. Either way, I might as well just do some damage to him. Um, yeah, I thought he would. He wants to switch him out. Uh, I don't know what else he could have, so I'm just going to throw in a distraction here because he's definitely going to swap him out. That's how he's going to win. Uh, oh, Mamalania. Now, he knows he's only one swap in from killing me. He knows that. And he's probably going to do it now. So I'm going to switch in to... I, th I think he switched in his Draco just to try and finish me here. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, we've definitely lost. Um, that's probably going to take me... Oh, it didn't. That's right, because he's still distracted. Um, right. <laughs> Just distract him. Get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's killed us. He's definitely killed us. Yeah, we're dead. I mean, there's nothing I could do here. Yeah, and then he's just going to switch in. Now he's just going to switch in Draco. That's interesting. I wonder what his plan was. If I was him, I would just switch in Draco, knowing that would have killed him. So I think he just kind of dragged out the inevitable there. Um, should we point and laugh at him? Let's point and laugh at him. <laughs> oh, it even has a sound effect. I, I never play with the sound on. So I never, I've never heard that little <laughs> chuckle. Oh, that's annoying. What well, a mess. Give me more to max. Where's my to max? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, right. So we're not going to do the Morton Rex right off the bat because maybe that's not the best way to do it. Maybe we need to keep him, like, hidden. Hidden in the back somewhere. Let's start with, I don't know, yeah, the all right thing. Uh, ooh, it's not sped. Ooh, 1,000. Ooh, we could have. <gasps> we could have been very close to killing this thing, guys. We could have been so close to killing it. Okay. Oh, yes, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, but he also got a crit. Okay. So now we're going to instant charge. There's nothing he can do. He's dead. Um, that was very lucky. <laughs> Look at this. Back when I was at 5,500 cups, I would never face a 28 Thordo. Are you kidding me? It would be level 30. It would have max attack or max speed or something ridiculous. Oh, oh, I know you're... Ooh. How fast is he, though? Oh, he's 150. Jeez, that's quick. All right. Uh, can he slow me down? He can't slow me down. He's a delay of one, though. So we may as well just go for a regular hit. Oh, a taunting bellow. Interesting, interesting. Well, may as well... I mean, what's the max he can do is 1,800, so he's not going to kill us. Can he heal? He can dig in. That that does increase. Cleanse, heal, 400... Right, okay. Uh, interesting. Resilient Rampage. Fair enough. Ooh, look at this. It's actually holding its own against a Mammalania, even though it's four levels... Oh, sorry, six levels lower. 
Uh, is it immune to stun? I feel like it's immune to stun. Everything's immune to freaking stun. So what's the worst case scenario? He's gonna shield here, right? And then I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be thingied anymore. He's gonna shield. No, he didn't! Oh, looks, oh, he might do. He might do. He might still dig in. He'll get the speed increase. Oh, he didn't! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I thought he would have done that. That would have been better for him to do. He would have been faster. Um, that, I think that was probably the best play. Um, because now I can just kill him in one hit. Yeah, now I can kill him. I mean, he's, he could, I guess... Uh, go for dig in, but he's just dragging out the inevitable. Yeah, he knows. Look at this, this battle. We're doing good. We haven't even used Mortem Rex. Probably why. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a tornado with what boost? 2,000, 2,000 attack. Oh, I feel like we have to have Mortem Rex win. We have to have Mortem Rex win. What's the most damage this thing can do? It's 4,085, and it's got a 20% crit chance. Um, there's definitely a chance that, uh... He, uh, he could kill Morton Rex in one hit. I really want him. Oh, man. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, I'm reduced. I'm reduced. Should I, should I, should I hope that I don't get the crit? I hope I don't get the crit and we get to see Morton Rex possibly take it out. Is there anything I can do? There's nothing I can do. Like, I have to win. I have to win here unless he switches. Please switch. Oh, no. I didn't want to win. I want <laughs> I wanted more Rex to be used. Ah, damn it! That that would have been the perfect game to have more Rex out first. Damn it! If we got the critters, where well, we may have been able to kill him. Okay, guys, we are going to try the Hadrosaur Lux raid with a Mortem Rex. This is going to be interesting. One boss versus another boss. Oh good, I'm glad Jess is reconnected. Okay, so, so what should I do? Ooh, Gorgos. Gorgo, the Endlodon thing in Hadrosaur Lux. Um, do I just hit everyone? Should I hit everyone? I mean, that to me sounds like the best idea, right? Uh, does this just go for the lowest health? I feel like I should just do raw. Should I just do raw and hit everything? I feel like, yeah, is that the best thing to do? I mean, what, what, we got Rampaging Crush, and then we got to sell it. Yeah, okay, I think, I think so. I think that's, I think that's what I could do. <laughs> Acceleration, it's one of them. Okay. Shield! Oh, I should be able to take that out? Okay, so here comes a Rampage, ra ready to crush, sorry. Ready to, we got the ready to crush, we got the Turmolex speed. Now I can destroy all their shields, uh, and I've got a super high chance to crit. However, oh no, I did get it, I did get it. And then a decelerating. Oh. Oh, can anyone heal? Oh, I think the Turmolek can heal, right? Can the Brontotherium thing heal? Oh God, it looks like we might be too strong. <laughs> now, all we need to do is not kill it in, uh, in two turns, which is gonna be quite hard seeing as I have 3,000 attack. Um, ben? Ben, stop. Ben, stop. <laughs> I think you might want to use refresh, Ben. I think you might want to use refresh. Because you don't you don't want to attack it. Okay. What can I do? I mean, okay, so he's going for his own. I mean, the, the lowest attack I can do is raw. <laughs> Otherwise, we're, <laughs> we're going to kill it. Um... Oh, Ben, where are you playing? In a mountain somewhere. Oh my God. Oh, right. Ben, Ben. Damn it, Ben. <laughs> I mean, I guess he goes for his lowest hit. So how much health does this thing get back? We want to get a load back. 3,000, okay. Yeah, we can live with that, I think. So we need to kill the next turn, which is not going to be hard. Because <laughs> I can go for a massive hit. Uh, and everything's immune to the slowing, so that's good. There's the Tormorok's immune, I'm immune. I don't know if this thing's immune. So he's definitely going to get a crit here. No, he didn't. Oh, okay. And I go for my roll, and he goes for a shield. Oh, we've got this. I've never, I've never seen this, though. I've never seen uh, a boss take on another boss. Ooh. So in comes my roll. I'm assuming it'll be a crit. 
there's a 40% chance, very than increased chance of a crit. Uh, so, um, we, we don't want to kill it now? Do we not want to kill it now? I, don't, I can't remember. Haunting strike. Oh, God. Uh, so, have we done this? Or have we failed? Because we've done too much damage. I think we want to kill it on the third turn. I think that was the that was the theory. So we don't want to kill it on two turns. So is this the one we want to kill it on? I assume so. I, I mean, all I do is go for a roll. We're, we're, we're probably going to kill it. I just want to see how much damage. Yeah. Should we just kill it? What's that these went for? Is that like instant invincibility? Shielding? So yeah, it's going to die. Okay, I just want to see how much damage I can do. I don't have the crit chance on me, though. So we got the group heal. Thank God. There we go. Oh. That's the one that took the most damage there. So in comes this one. He's probably going to finish him. Oh, 6,380 damage. Is that more than I can do? I think it might be more than it. With a crit, though, I think I can get better than that. Okay. Have I got my crit chance? I don't think so. I didn't get it. And we did nothing to it. Oh. <laughs> I did zero damage to it. Oh, fantastic. I uh, unfortunately get hit by it, because I have to hit. I don't have any stalling moves or anything. Uh, he's going to go for the one who's the fastest? Okay. Interesting. Uh, this is a very hard raid for somebody to replicate, because getting that Bronte Zoom to level 27, and then getting a Morden Rex anyway is super difficult. <laughs> but it's rather we can even do it. My attack might be too high. <laughs> It's never too high with a Mortem Rex. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Max attack Mortem Rex takes on Boss Hydrosaur Lux. There you go. There's the clickbait tile for you. Okay, so... I mean, if he's distracting everybody, that's good. That means that it's gonna take less uh, Mortems or more attacks to kill him. Oh, God, there it is. Well, that's okay. That's on a minion. Nobody cares about the minion. Okay, yep. There we go. Group distracting is that on everyone? <gasps> oh no! I'm gonna do no damage! Oh, ready to crush? Oh, is that gonna cleanse it? Yeah, <laughs> never mind, okay. <laughs> so we should be good, we should be good. So, this should kill things? Ooh! Ooh, I don't know if it's killed the Gorgo. Oh no. Oh no. Is that good? Okay, this is gonna hit everything. Is this, is this good? Oh, it is. Okay, yes, never mind. I didn't realize it was going to do 5,000 damage. That's a lot. So we're doing good here. In comes the immune, and then... Does he have armor? I feel like that Brontotherium must have armor. He's a hybrid, right? Okay, so we're, we're two rounds in. We're looking good. Um, we just want to make sure we don't kill him this round. So what we need to do is... Well, all I do is roll, 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 roll. <laughs> Did it roll? That's all, that's all I can do. If I go for anything higher, I might risk uh, jeopardizing him. So, because if, if I... Okay, so we've got a heal, a heal. And then I'm I'm really the only one that's doing a lot of damage here. Okay, great. Is that on me? Oh, yeah! <laughs> that's me! And refresh. I like how Ben, for whatever reason, in the chat said, Never use refresh? Question mark? <laughs> Of course, we need we need to stall this. So I mean, I have to do this. Five thousand damage. Yeah, because normally it would be three thousand, right? But I've got increased attack and I've got increased crit. Oh, I just I just want to see how much damage I can do. The most amount. Oh, it'll be like ten thousand. It's got to be ten thousand. But I'm not quick enough. I'm not quick enough because by the time I do my big hit. I think the, the crit chance is gone and the ferocious is gone as well. Oh, a tail slap. Ooh, I've never seen that animation before. Is that unique to him? Or her, I should say. I think it might be. Okay, so, like, so now they're just going to go for big hits. I want, I want to do my big hit. No. Yeah, it's, I think it's worn off. So he, he might... Kill him, don't kill him, please. I want to see how much I can do. Yes! We're going to see how much I can do, but it's not like... I don't think it's got the increased... Um, Cause I think he nullifies, doesn't he? He nullifies the chance. So as soon as like one hit goes through, that's it. He nullifies me. So there we go. Unless a group heal, just to heal, uh, heal that rhino thing. Oh, here I come. Don't get a crit, but 6,000 damage. Flat. Flat 6,000 damage. With a crit chance and an increase in attack. Because it's 50% increase, isn't it? So that would be 
3,000 base to 4,500 base, increasing to 9,000 with a crit chance. I'll definitely do over 10,000 damage, surely. Surely I'll do that. Right, so he's gonna go for the fastest. Who, who is the fastest? Oh, it's the Brontotherium thing. Ah, can I see? Can I see? We got 108 speed only. Uh, it does have 30% armor though. Okay, so round three. <gasps> Two more rounds, including this one. And we're three. Right, so I'll just, I'll just do roar again then, I guess. So we're going to get the Turmolox speed increased. We're going to get the ready to crush from the Tristorix thing. And uh, yeah, it's kind of just like rinse and repeat every time. Although I might be able to get the finishing blow on him. Oh, that would be sweet if I can get the finishing blow on him. <laughs> shield. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to destroy all their shields. Ready to crush comes through. Yes. I think that's the only attack I have that hits everything. It would be so cool to like have the biggest hit and hit everything, but it's not going to. Oh yeah, they got 5,000. And then he's just going to do the hit for everybody. And uh, that's going to kill the Gorgo. Bless. This is how you win this. Is you just make sure the minions can't do anything. <laughs> Bam. And you fall down on his face. Right. And then, of course, the... So, Hadras... I wonder when we unlock Hadras, or is it? will just have the same moves, right? Or do the bosses have different moves? Does Mortimer Rex boss have different moves, too? He must have. He must have. I don't think I've ever seen him do a roll. It's always, like, the tail whip, so it must always have something different. But I wonder if Hadras or will always have that counter decelerating. I think it must do, right? It must have that all the time. So now I'm just going to go for roll, because I have to. Uh, everyone else is hitting except for the Turamola. Oh, thanks, babes. <laughs> Give me some loves. There it is. Oh, 3,000 damage. Watch me. I could do more than that as long as I get a crit. But I think remove speed increase. That's what it does. Okay, so it removes your speed increase and then decelerates. That's interesting. I wonder, because we're getting a new boss. We're getting like a Sinoceratops boss. Oh, yeah. So not, none of my attacks do my base attack damage. So even though it says my, my attack is 3,000, really, it's 4,500 is my base attack. So, ah, oh, there's got to be some strat. There's got to be some strat. I don't mind, like, mix, like, as soon as I've got more Rex Max, which should be a while. Um, but then again, the time it took me to get more Rex unlocked, I had to get 300, right? To level it up, I have to get 100. Then 150. So... If we just, the time it took to get, unlock Mortem Rex. Go for the biggest hit. Time it took to unlock Mortem Rex. Again, I should have a Mortem Rex at level 28. And then we're only two levels away at that point. I'm, ah, oh, I'd love to see a full boss team. So you're gonna get the Mortem Rex, you're gonna get Hadrosaur Lux, there's a Sinoceratops boss that we haven't seen. This is kind of what we wanted in Jurassic World Alive. Watch my huge hair do nothing. <laughs> and then in comes the shield, which is... Yeah, the health. It, it is still quite fragile, though, that Godzilla Rex. I, I, we have to... It's Godzilla. It's Godzilla, right? Gojira. We have to call it Godzilla Rex. So in comes the final right. Should I just go for a huge hit? No, I can't. Because <laughs> I have to. I might do it in the second round, though, while I still have that ferocious and critical impact. Uh, should we do it and see how much damage we can do? So this round, we're going to go for raw, then big hit. I think there's only a delay of one right cooldown. There has to be, because the Rex isn't going to, you know, it's not going to survive more than a couple of turns, if not that. Um, yeah, so it's a cooldown of one, so we just want to make sure we hit everything. And then next turn, and go all out. Go all out. Please tell me I keep my... my uh, fearsome. It's gotta be, right? It's gotta. Please be more than one turn. I just wanna see how much damage I can do. I just wanna see it. Yeah, let's target boss. Oh, well. I mean, I guess I could've, but we wanna, we wanna kill the minions first, though, right? <laughs> Wait, what was the, uh, the Brontotherium thing going for? No, okay, so we, we, we've killed everybody. We've killed everybody. So here comes my crit. Bam! Look at that damage! That's a lot of damage. I remove speed, that's fine, as long as I keep my attack and uh, crit chance. Okay, here we go, here we go. Just don't distract me, please. 
Don't distract me. He distracted the start of this turn, so he shouldn't be able to do it. In it comes! In it comes! Here comes the big hits, guys. Let's do this. So 15,000 health. Can we kill it in this turn? Uh, I'm going to do 10,000 damage. I know that. If, especially if I get a crit, I'm going to do 10,000 damage. Um, so that leaves 5,000 damage just to be for whatever else. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Please tell me I keep my, my, my uh, thingy. I want to keep my ferocious. I haven't even been keeping an eye on it. Whether I, whether I keep it. Hold on, let's have a look. If I just hold. Uh, no, I don't. Damn it. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to do a lot of damage anyway. We're going to do what? Like... <gasps> there it is! He's got the spooky emote! There it was! An exclusive! Wait, how'd you guys have all that? I don't have that! How'd you get that? Damn it! <laughs> okay. Here come the big hits. Right, he's, he's already got his increase. I don't... Oh, 6,000 damage. I don't think I've got mine. I don't think so. I think it wore... It wears off, I think. But more Rex is going to get the final hit because we're going to do like 8,000 damage here. Oh, we still have it. What? Oh, I didn't even see it. What was that? Was that 11,000? That looked like 11,000 damage. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. sorry. Look, complete. Done and done. He's like, eh. Like a little horsey. Okay, so what are we going to get? Yeah, skip past this load of rubbish. And it is... Uh, 15. Okay, could have been better. Could have been better. We have got lucky. I think that's twice we've got 25s, and then it's the first time that we've got... No. It's basically three 25s, right? Yeah, 25, 50, 75. Okay, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you have. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.